Welcome back everyone. You may be wondering if your iPad screen is actually authentic or if it's not authentic at all. Now, the first thing I would recommend doing is to make sure that your you know, peripherals of your device actually work. So what does this mean? Well, you want to make sure that your touch ID works or your face ID works on your specific device. Now, nine times out of 10, anytime there's an iPad and it actually has an issue and you're wondering if it actually has a proper display or not, well, the easiest way to tell this is basically if that display has the proper working face ID or it has proper working touch ID. If those things are fully functional, then you can pretty much guarantee that your display is either fully authentic or is replaced by somebody who has an authentic display. Those are pretty much the main things you can do at that point. And honestly, you are pretty much good to go. Now, if you notice that face ID isn't working or touch ID isn't working on your display, well, the next thing you can do is to look around that display itself and see if there's any signs of, you know, that display being essentially taken off at one point. So you want to see if there's any creases, you want to see if there's any gaps between the display itself and the actual iPad. Basically, a majority of the times I've been able to tell for any device that has an authentic display or not is to see if there's gaps and see if you can actually go ahead and, you know, notice any gaps between or empty spaces between the display and the actual body of the iPad. A lot of the times that's pretty much what happens. And anytime I have a, like a display that has that type of issue, pretty much I can guarantee it's been, you know, modified in some way. Either the display was taken off or possibly the display was actually actually, you know, taken out for an unauthentic display. Now, that doesn't seem to be the issue either. The best thing you can do is to pretty much take your iPad to an Apple store and have Apple take a look at it. You know, if they detect that that display isn't authentic, then either you can get a new one from them or you can just, you know, be rest assured that somebody took a look at it and the display actually isn't fully functional. Now, if you don't want to do that either, then you can pretty much follow the steps that I listed before and you probably should have a good idea whether that iPad has an authentic display or it doesn't. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.